What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Tonight's match day experience is at West Ham as they take on Stoya Bucharest. Definitely said that wrong in the Conference League. This one is literally so last minute. The current time is 20 past five and we've only just bought the tickets, but let's go. And I've got a guest with me again tonight. Okay, so we're here now in Stratford, uh, about an hour ahead of kickoff. Uh, we need to walk to the stadium soon though, because I know the queues outside are really long. Got a quick drink. And then we made our way towards the London Stadium, which you can now see for the first time in this video. Here are my thoughts before the game. Right, I'm on, oh. <laughs> okay, we're on the stadium, no. Okay, we're on the way to the stadium now. I'm with Oli, my guest for tonight. My score prediction now, adjusting the teams. We're gonna go 3-1 West Ham, feeling confident tonight. Obviously we're supporting West Ham. So uh, let's go in. It's just under an hour till kickoff, about 45 minutes to go. So let's go into the stadium. Also, I forgot to mention that we're sitting very close to the away fans tonight, like very close, a couple of blocks along. Um, we're outside the stadium now, you can just see it. And then we made our way in through the turnstiles. Okay, we're in, let's go to the seats. Okay, so we're in the seats now. This is our view. Very nice. There are a lot of away fans and our home fans in the front line. Um, they're right by us as well. So we'll see what happens. Players are out warming up now. Too long to kick off now, about five minutes. Teams are going to be walking out any minute. The fans are getting louder and louder. Some good atmosphere from the away fans, not so much the home fans. It's not, it's not really sold out. There's a lot of empty seats. Absolutely loads of police here tonight with the away fans. Teams are now ready to start another minute silent. Following that period of silence, we were almost ready for kickoff. Pretty slow start to the game, not too much has happened. I have to say, these Romanian fans, incredible away support. They've gone over a thousand miles to be here. They've nearly scored as well. Not a bad start for them. Early penalty shout for West Ham. Okay, we have played 21 minutes. Oli, what are your thoughts so far? Oh, pretty end to end, which is not what I was expecting. I was expecting to be like West Ham dominated, but I reckon we'll pull through second half. Right? And as it's 0 0, what do you think the score will be? Okay, I've gone with 3-1, so let's see what happens. So after those penalty claims, the Romanian fans got even louder, but just a couple of minutes after that, they had a reason to be even louder than before. Romanian fans are now bit and they're getting kicked out. It's all kicking off now, it's not looking good. I'm sorry I missed the goal. Look, everybody's standing up. People getting kicked out. It's not what you want to see at football. I can't believe I missed the goal. I saw it. I'm sorry I didn't it. Oh, sorry! Another chance for West Ham to score. Yeah, aside from the entertainment of the fans being kicked out, there are so many of them, absolutely loads. Um, it's not very good that West Ham are 1-0 down. They've had a lot more of the ball, a lot more chances. I can't believe I didn't film the goal. I'll get the next one. But yeah, Corne's look bright. I like him. Okay, it's half time, second half is about to start. Not the best West Ham 
should have really been in front base. The away side that are in front, but the uh, the home side even are making a triple substitution with Corbin, Antonio, and Lucas Paqueta coming onto the pitch. So let's hope they can make a big difference. Come on, West Ham. Considering I paid fifty-five pounds last time for where we sat, I know it's against the Palace, but these tickets only cost twenty quid. We're very twelve, really close to the front. We've got a nice view. People were saying about how far away it is from the pitch. It is, but it's not too bad. Despite West Ham substitutions, they still can't get in the game. The Romanian side is still on top. West Ham have got the ball though. Still not done much early in the second half, it's not good. This shot has been out for a throw. Free kick to West Ham, they're starting to come into the game a little bit more now. Still not brilliant, still not how they should be playing, especially with some top class players on the pitch, including Paqueta. But it looks like it's going to be Corne over the free kick. Big opportunity, 61 minutes played. Oh, what an awful ball. Another Bucharest player is down injured. I say injured, he's going to get off, and he's up again, of course. And shortly after that, West Ham wanted a penalty. So West Ham made their substitution and then Bowen stepped up to take the penalty. Sorry, Bowen with a penalty. Yeah. Come on. Not too long after the equaliser, West Ham had a couple of chances before they made this one count. Despite being 2-1 down, the Romanian fans remained loud, but they soon went quieter after this happened. So that was it, the game was over, West Ham won 3-1, deservedly so as well. And also, if you haven't already, please go over to Instagram and follow me on there, the Matchday Experience, same as the YouTube. So that was that, full-time 3-1, I actually got the score prediction right for once. Really enjoyed the game, very good, now let's rate the day. So then guys, as we've already been to the London Stadium, I'm just going to do a bonus rate the day, including some different categories rather than the usual one. But anyway, kicking off with atmosphere, it wasn't great to be honest with you. The Romanian fans were fantastic, fair play to them, but the West Ham fans were a little bit flat, so I've only gone for 6 out of 10, which isn't too bad as it wasn't completely silent, but could have and has been better in the past. Moving on though to the away section, they were really good, 7 out of 10, and that's also for where they sit as well. So their actual allocation was very good. They filled it and also had some fans in the home end too. And now for the value. And now this is what it should be. Not the £55 we paid last time. I know that was resale, but still it's expensive. £20 for this one. Not too bad at all. European football, still a Premier League stadium. Saw four goals. Maybe a 6.5 out of 10 is a little bit harsh. 
but you can also get £20 tickets in a Premier League game, which is obviously more competitive and more people want to see. So an interesting one, but 6.5 out of 10 is not too bad at all in my opinion. And also that is my ticket on screen as usual. Moving on to the concourse, another one for bonus rate the day. It wasn't too bad, 8 out of 10 for me. I was quite impressed, it's quite spacious, got lots of food and drink. Unfortunately, it's very expensive, which is annoying. But overall, not so bad. And now finally, would I return? But only based on the night. Yes, I probably would, to be honest with you guys. And I probably will go back to West Ham again at some point this season. Now, I did have tickets for the West Ham versus Newcastle game on Sunday. However, obviously, that has been postponed due to the death of Her Majesty the Queen. Once that game is rearranged, I will go since I do already have the tickets. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the league table. And I forgot to do this in the last video. Spurs sit in fifth. If you haven't seen that, please go and check it out. West Ham only sit in 10th because that was the game against Spurs. This one doesn't count. It's just a bonus. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment and turn on notifications so that you can be one of the first in my next video. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in a couple of weeks for the next one. Yeah.